Hi, Brennan here again for another video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my manic episode that I had because I'm supposedly bipolar. You know, I've been diagnosed. So I'm going to talk about this episode today and uh, just kind of describe what happened to me, what it felt like, uh, things like that. Because I know a lot of people don't really understand what bipolar disorder is. You know, they understand, like, you have mood fluctuations, but, um, it's not the way, you're not happy one minute and then s sad the next minute. That's not how it works. It, it, it more goes in, like, seasons. Like, you'll be depressed for, like, weeks, and then you, supposedly you'll be manic. But I've only been manic once before they put me on medications. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get into what the manic episode was like. So basically what started this whole manic episode, uh, it happened uh, earlier last year, early, uh, well, later in the year, last year, um, 2013, um, and, you know, my whole life I had always been kind of worried about what people thought about me, and I was always pretty socially anxious. And, uh, it wasn't until my manic episode that I really, um, stopped caring so much about what people thought of me and started, like, expressing myself for who I truly am. And I started to realize that I shouldn't care so much about what people think. I mean, it's important to care about what people think, but, uh, not to the extent that I'd had before in my life, you know, to where I had been anxious, um, socially anxious. Um, so yeah. Now you might be wondering how this is related to my manic episode. Well, this is what started my manic episode. Um, one night, I, well, first off, my friend said to me, I, I was in, uh, what class was it? Um, I was in, uh, Fuck. I forget what class. It was a history-related class. That's all that matters. So, let's say I was in history class. And, um, I guess I was really, like, outgoing that day. And my f and then, right after that class, I went to lunch. And my friends said to me, they said, what, what drugs did you take? Why were you so outgoing today? And, you know, later that night, I kind of thought to myself, like you know, how fucking sad am I? Like, I can't even express myself without, you know, fear. Like, I, I'm so afraid to say what I think, um, in social, you know, circumstances, and it really made me contemplate my life, and I, I thought, you know, the next day, I would say whatever came to my mind. Like, I would express myself fully, and I wouldn't care about the outcome or the consequences. I would just express myself fully, and that's what I did. Um, and this gave me such a dopamine rush, it was insane. It was the best feeling I had ever had in my life, and this feeling continued, and it continued for days and days, and, um, actually for weeks <laughs> and you know it, it didn't go away until they finally put me on the right medications um, but basically what it made me feel like it, it was a dopamine rush and it it made me have so many different thoughts all at once you know they say that you know doctors and people like that they say that uh, the part of your brain that um, controls how many thoughts you can have at once during a manic episode that part of the brain isn't active it doesn't work at all so you can have like <laughs> 10 different uh, thoughts going through your head at once or more than that you can just have so many different thoughts going on at once like you can be thinking about 
you know, world hunger over here, and then you can be thinking about your math assignment that's due tomorrow, you know, and then you can be thinking about this girl that you like, and you can be thinking about all these things all at once, and it's really kind of uh, <laughs> an enlightening experience. It, it's it's pretty crazy, and uh, it's such manic episodes, at least mine, and I know other people's are like this. Some people describe them as being pretty bad, like bad and not good, but for me it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot, and um, it really made me feel like I was enlightened or something. It, that's how good of a feeling it is. It makes you think of delusional things like, I must be something special because I feel this way, because you know that no one else around you feels that way because no one else around you is bipolar. I mean, you don't know when you're going through your first manic episode that it's a manic episode, but it is, and you just know that no one else around you has ever felt this way before. But yeah, my manic episode, it, just the greatest feeling I've ever had in my life, and it kind of uh, it makes me a little sad for people who aren't bipolar, because they'll never experience that feeling, and it's such a great feeling. It makes life... I mean, you you don't need much sleep at all. You, fu you function on, like, minimal amounts of sleep. You just have so many new ideas come to you. It's insane. And you have so much energy you know, you're so talkative, you, you just talk about all kinds of different shit, you know, you're always talking, and it's just, it's crazy. I guess, uh, you, you actually also, uh, are really sexually, like, hyperactive, you, you, you're really, you get turned on a lot more than you would normally. I guess my parents told me, like, that one day I was, like, rubbing my dick on the table. It was still in my pants, okay, so it wasn't, like, <laughs> that bad, but, but I was just, like, rubbing it against the table, fucking, <laughs> it's so funny to think about, because I don't even remember this, and, you know, a lot of the things they said that I did, they said they don't sound bad, you know, a lot of the symptoms of mania don't sound bad, but when it all happens together and it all happens at once, um, it's basically too much, you know, to function normally in society when you're having a full-blown manic episode. I'm not talking, talking about hypomania here, because I've never, I, I mean, I've had hypomanic, hypomanic episodes, but those are like nothing compared to a full-blown manic episode. Because a manic epi the difference between a hypomanic episode and a manic episode is where you pretty much have to go to the hospital if you have a manic episode. Because it's uh, so crazy. <laughs> I guess another thing that happened while I was manic was uh, I was talking to myself a lot. Now, I didn't think this was too weird because I, my whole life I'd all, I've always talked to myself out loud just to understand my ideas better and just it, it just helps me think. But uh, I guess I was doing it all the time and like the difference was that I didn't care what people thought of me anymore so I showed people everything about my life. I told people every secret I had. I, I <laughs> you know, I really let everything out. And one thing was that I, I was always kind of conscious of the fact, self-conscious of the fact that I talk to myself, because some people say that means you're crazy and shit like that, but I don't think that's true. But I finally just talked to myself in front of other people and I didn't really care what they thought, and <laughs> they, they probably thought I was crazy when I was doing that. <laughs> But, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's basically it. I mean, if 
my parents said basically that if you look at the symptoms of mania, you can just go check, check, check for <laughs> for what I had because I was exactly like textbook definition of mania. Like, I had everything. Every single little thing that comes with mania, I, I had it. And, you know. So, uh, that's, yeah, that's just a short video about my manic episode. Um, you know, if you guys have questions about it or about what mania is or want me to explain it a little bit better, um, go ahead and ask in the comment section. If you think this video helped you to understand what mania is and understand well, my personal experience with it, um, give it a like. Uh, if you enjoy watching my videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow in another video.